present and the future is increasingly defined by artificial intelligence, a rising force. The deep penetration of these technologies define an AI-driven future. But it is not your future, not our future yet. Our age is about deciding about the AI future, whose image AI will take, and that will need the understanding, full understanding of its nature. Hi, Neil! <laughs> Directly from space. <laughs> Great to see you well, again. Then, if I'm living in space, then I'm not the number one science communicator on <laughs> Earth. <laughs> That's definitely true. And intelligence is really about uh, what you do. Right? Uh, are you doing the right thing? Do your actions make sense? Do they achieve your objectives or do they fail? People were talking about you know, solving problems uh, and it's the same basic point. Do, do your actions make sense? Do they end up uh, changing the world in ways that make you happy? Uh, the real difference between human and machine intelligence is that uh, humans can cope with a vast range of tasks. I mean, it, pretty much anything you can think of uh, in any circumstance, we can adapt very quickly uh, to new tasks and new circumstances. Uh, and right now, uh, machine intelligence doesn't have that capability. But what I've noticed over the years is that the goalposts keep moving for what people want to say AI is. And so, uh, I, so I don't, I'm not in a position to say that anyone is going to define AI today and then in 10 years where we're beyond that say, oh, that wasn't really AI, but this is really AI. And in, in biology, intelligence is uh, translated to adaptability. So I think the lifetime of, uh, of, of humankind is too short to make a judgment about, you know, who is smarter, whether machines will survive us or not. You know, this would be a good measure of, uh, of, uh, of intelligence. You know, would you get on an airplane that doesn't have a pilot? And most people would say, no, I would never do that. Well, if you go back a hundred years and you said, would you board a train that doesn't have a conductor? AI is manifesting in so many parts of our lives, incrementally, that, uh, and, and by the way, the world isn't coming to an end because of it. There is a saying that uh, in 60 years ago, the best minds uh, created uh, uh, the, the nuclear bomb in the Manhattan Plan. Now the best minds place advertisements on our websites. Yes. Uh, but uh, uh, in my mind, uh, this uh, AI is fascinating for the people because this is the first time when something very complex is not made by rules, by equations but uh, by an artificial neural network, which is uh, a black box, very similarly to uh, our mind. So many people are aware of the fact that, you know, our lives some aspects of our lives are already very much, very much influenced by AI. Uh, our shopping, our entertainment choices, our information consumption, our bank loans. But a lot of it is still invisible, uh, even if it is mainstream. AI can be enormously useful in medicine. The pattern recognition and unsupervised classification have become the major strengths of AI. These are extremely useful skills in dermatology, radiology, oncology. AI can quantify and quantitatively identify similar cases and compare the images against enormous databanks.
but I can push a button and it can tell me where to get the nearest cup of coffee and how to avoid traffic and that doesn't involve a human at all. I think on the whole, AI is better for us than not better for us. And the need for regulation or rules and, and ethical parameters is paramount. That are trainable machine learning platforms to detect wide range of diseases. Such skills require decades of training for humans. The goal, of course, is not to replace the human judgment, but assist it in a way not possible before. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the, the, the biggest uh, uh, requirement for a self-driving car is to save the passengers in the car. That's rule number one. Second, uh, and, and to, to achieve this, the first one is to avoid any kind of accidents. And that, that this is where the, the uh, cars will be better than humans, because uh, their uh, speed of calculation or speed of decision making and uh, the 360 degree view sensing is much better than any human drivers. So l let's consider the alternative, right? Um, so we, we're going to build, if all, uh, if all things turn out well, uh, at least from the technological point of view, we're going to build systems that are more powerful than human beings. It's our intelligence that gives us power over the world. Uh, so you're creating entities that are more powerful than us. And the question is, how do we maintain power over them forever? How, we, how do we guarantee that? Um, and there's no model for that anywhere in the universe that we know of. They will not have any knowledge of a book that has not been scanned and, and put online. So, so uh, I don't know how much thinking has gone into what AI cannot learn that humans know simply because we haven't given it to the internet yet. I remembered uh, my earliest encounter with AI was the 1970s in a computer science class in college, and uh, it was the, there was a program called uh, Eliza, I think it was. It was a, um, a basically a, a psychologist. Most of the jobs which are. Uh, 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 could, could be uh, in danger of AI are the rep repetitive tasks making simple use, relatively simple use of uh, earlier data sets like uh, lawyers. Uh, and uh, and uh, those ones. <laughs> those ones. Uh, oh, are we, always, we always make fun of lawyers. Yeah, uh, he's your lawyer no, joke. No, I, I, yeah. I, I, think, I, think, also, I think you're right. I think that the repetitive physical and mental labor uh, will be the first. To, to be fully automated. Uh, Can we do this again like next year in Budapest? So yes, I, Neil, thank you. A little, we, yes, a little bird told just, me that. I've never been to Budapest. <laughs> and, you know, I mean, I can see it on the map, you know, on the globe. <laughs> <laughs> you would be most welcome here, Neil, and all panelists. A uh, little bird told me that there's going to be a big continuation of this event uh, next year.